नमस्कार गुड मॉर्निंग राम राम वेलकम टू यूर ऑन चैनल ए सी एस टू एंड टूडे वीडियो इज अबाउट सन ट्रांसिट बट इट्स नॉट अ नॉर्मल ट्रांसिट the one thing is that sun is leaving the house of saturn and going to the mm. house of jupiter on the 14th of jan on the 14th of this march but the thing is that this 14th to next 14th is very cautious period why let's welcome akash chauhan ji from calgary canada akash ji namaskar ram ram namaskar uh, sun, good morning ram 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 sun this period is not a, a simple transit this is a, a, trans, a conjunction with rahu who as well as grahan so so many things between this one month yeah and really you forgot one more thing it is also mercury is debilitated in that same house oh yeah conjunction so, with yeah. debilitated mercury thing yeah debilitated mm-hmm. mercury so first of all everyone in the world right now the mind is very very volatile there is a lot very very volatile. yeah because of mercury being debilitated the mind is little bit in stress on the other hand uh, being with uh, being with rahu the communication can be little bit toxic or there can be lot of things that we can expect on a larger level but rohit ji when we discuss about all the 12 ascendants we will have more idea about what the hell is happening <laughs> so when we talk about sun it is transiting into pisces on 14th of march 2024 that means very just now and sun will meet rahu there as soon as sun starts taking degrees rahu you know become start taking happy that okay this is the time if you see the illustration the photo here this is rahu and if you see this in his hand is sun and he's eating the sun this is how the complete total solar eclipse happen whenever rahu and sun meet each other in the celestial sky now roji before we move forward those people who don't know how the Uh, eclipse happen or what is the you know what is the vedic story behind it it is very simple that when the samudra manthan that means the churning of the ocean was happening at that time sun and moon you know everyone was vishnu lord vishnu who took the mohini avatar that means he took a avatar of a very beautiful woman that anyone who can who will look at her will become mesmerized except gods so what happened is that he gave he you know all the demons and everyone you know they uh, came into her influence and they were sidelined and all the gods were been given the nectar that is the amrit the nectar of immortal immortality and what happened is this rakshasa he was named swarna bhanu who was now later named rahu and ketu you know he disguised himself as a god and he also took the nectar when he took the nectar when he drank it immediately at that moment sun and moon were just you know around him like you know he was between the sun and the moon and that is where they complained to lord vishnu's mohini avatar and then lord vishnu came into his roopa got the sudarshan chakra out and sliced his throat the head became the rahu the tail became the ketu because the amrit was gone inside now rahu and ketu became immortal in and came to the shrini of devas now what happened is that because they belong to the rakshas clan they belong to the clan of rakshasa they have they are considered malefic in vedic astrology in fact rahu and ketu both you know because that's the same body they are the son of semeka semeka mata very very she is the most dangerous demon of all the world you know when lord hanuman ji was going from uh, you know on uh, to lanka to get sita mata at that time when he was flying over the ocean semika mata captured hanuman ji's shadow and captured hanuman ji from that that means she is so powerful and hanuman ji did not do anything to her he just followed her guidance and whatever she wanted he gave it to her and he left he did not even kill her and stuff like that so she is extremely powerful being semika okay so this is what happened and then rahu and ketu came and from that time rahu has enmity with sun and moon that you know these are the people because of them i am into this kind of a situation now and he always will swallow the sun uh, you know whenever sun will be in close conjunction some people will also be born during this time so you know there are a lot of things for eclipse that we have to be careful about but there are a lot of things right now also we have to be careful about because sun is going to attain degree and will be going towards rahu the king 
son is not afraid of anyone in the world not even rahu but at that moment you know when you know that you are going to go into the dark and dark zone you feel little bit scared right when you, there is a very dark long tunnel what will you feel that oh my god is everything okay do i have my headlights on my car everything is good if what if something happens in the tunnel same way sun also has that kind of anxiety that is why whenever sun and rahu are in close conjunction or together there is a little bit of challenge and because sun is the source of all the light all the no uh, you know what you say or, or is the source of you know your soul as well in this uh, uh, in this universe sun is the one that gives you light in every area when sun gets into darkness during that time dark forces are also very active that means preta yoni you know anything to pitra yoni preta yoni pisach yoni everything is very very potent very very active because they want they have extra power during that time many people rohit ji i was doing an appointment they say i said that you know uh, uh, he was he was in uk and he said there are a lot of ghosts here and this and that and i said you know this is written in our vedas also and in fact in the very famous hanuman chalisa there is a verse which says bhut preet nikat nahi aave mahavir jamnan punave so if there were no bhut preet why would tulsidas out of all the gyani the you know learned people why would he write bhut pisach that means there is these yonis there are these kind of also you know uh, uh, paksha paksha means areas now what happens is that whenever sun and uh, rahu are together or sun or moon and rahu are together it is the time when we say that is there is grahana yoga in your chart and during this time is pitra dosh is what happens to your chart so by chance if you have sun and moon or uh, sun and rahu or sun and ketu or sun a moon and rahu and moon and ketu in your chart together that means there is pitra dosh during that now this time. is a, this is also very evident thing that uh, why sun and moon only with rahu creates a pitra dosh not with any other planet because you know sun is a father moon is a mother and pitra is purvaj our ancestors that so that's why anyways uh, very nice uh, so we will move on to the aries sign so when we talk about aries very careful we have to be because it is happening in the 12th house 12th house is the house of expenditure you know spending now during this time your mind you know because mercury is sitting in the 12th house with rahu so your mind is also or not even mind your communication your decisions that you want to take in your life is also not very a uh, positive or ca- will not be positive so during this time you have to emphasize caution against excessive spending especially on unnecessary luxury and spiritual pursuits you say okay i'm going for a spiritual retreat for 10 days now rohit ji honestly i was listening to someone from south india he's telling there is one spiritual retreat where i will take you to kailash mansarovar you know 2 lakh 3 lakh 5 lakh rupees per person what the hell man <laughs> what are you taking people in so much money to that place so you know such kind of things excessive spending in these areas should be avoided now during this time it is vital to maintain a balance between spiritual growth and material responsibilities it does not mean that spiritually you have to become very detached or not get into spirituality spirituality wise there is a lot of scope for growth here because you know after darkness only there is light so when there is this darkness that is supposed to happen after that there will be a lot of light in this area now also watch out for ex- escapism you know in any form whether through substance abuse or excessive day dreaming some people might use all these drugs and alcohol and stuff like that just to you know feel better or you know get their stress out try not to use these kind of thing and excessive day dreaming that means you know making plans unnecessary plans unreal plans also can be possible because your mind is also not in your control and your soul is also getting afflicted now this is the time to absolutely cultivate mindfulness and discriminant in charitable acts or investments very careful charity also do after lot of research i uh, spoke to someone i told them that you know what um 
uh, let's do uh, you should do charity towards some blind people he said oh i have an organization i pay you know some 100 dollars every month i said okay let's google we google the organization we saw the ceo of that organization he earns the ceo salary is based in us he earns 3.2 million dollars a year i said because of your charity and everything he is getting 3.2 million and after that you know all the employees are getting some money and then later if they have to treat some blind person they will go there and do it so you know be very mindful in charitable acts and investments as well now this transit can in, uh, indicate a period where solitude benefits your spiritual growth this is the time when you are left with little sorrow or little bit struggle in your life comes that is the time immediately you connect with god and this is the house of connecting with the unknown so you know it will benefit your spiritual growth but you have to be beware during this time it can lead to a lot of isolation as well as dep depression and feeling lost kind of mindset so everything is very temporary do not do not uh, think that you know it can be uh, it will be permanent thing it is just because sun is going to attain degree so little bit little bit ups and downs may happen no major decisions like joining some new company signing some contract specially very importantly for aries ascendant people sun is the lord of the fifth house of speculation no speculative investment like share market and stuff like that if you can avoid during the grand period as soon as sun enters the Pisces sign where it is where it will be in the energy of Rahu very very close to energy of Rahu you should make sure that any engagement marriage decision should not be taken before 14th of April let sun get into Aries and gets exalted then you can take you know uh, so any decisions like that but before that just avoid anything in that area in fact for a foreign education also you should avoid during this time to take any kind of you know a decision you should just wait for april to come so it's this video is more about caution than more than more about your prediction because this is the time that you have to be cautious there is a cautious for uh, children also those who are going through exams because you know third house of effort sixth house of competition and fifth house of uh, education all going in trouble yeah all in trouble uh, and uh, especially you know very soon uh, he is going to be um, Sun is going to be transit. Uh, Mercury is also going to be transiting. I think twenty sixth of this year, this month again. Twenty sixth transit. Yeah, and then later second of April or third of April, if I am not wrong, Mercury will become retrograde and again come back into Pisces. So there is again come back. Yeah. Yes. So we have to be careful in that area as well. All the best. Uh, uh, I have seen that all the people who are coming here very nice very uh, beautiful of all the new viewers who have joined us uh, do subscribe to our channel um, and make it yours make it your family make it a place where you can feel safe and always be updated with all the transits of the planets for taurus ascendant people when we talk about taurus rising sign you know it 11th house is where the grahan will happen but before that this is not the grahan video this is the video where sun is going to now take start taking degree degree in this house and what we have to be cautious about number 1 we have to be you know our social goals our social life our friends within our networks have to be very very we have to be very very careful in dealing with them you know with the 11th house being afflicted you know there is a temptation to pursue unrealistic dream or to get involved in unquestionable ventures you know you may just someone will say okay let's do this your mind is not in your control right because of mercury your communication that you are receiving you are not being able to uh, you know what you say you will not be able to take it in a very very analytical manner because mercury is equal to analytics any analytics or any research we want to do mercury is the planet that gives you that kind of ability to communicate with yourself to understand things so here you have to be very careful and scrutinize the in integrity of new acquaintances and equilibrate equilibrate the sustainability of potential financial gains from unconventional sources very very uh, you know you have to evaluate during this time that what kind of friends you are making what kind of money you are getting if anyone promises you that okay invest this much we will get that much and stuff like that oh there can be challenges that you can face and it will be very very crucial okay balancing aspiration also you know during this time with practic practicalness you know aspiration i want to build a tower of 300 floors and i cannot even buy a house that is you know the minimum cost so aspiration can be very very good but reality also should be maintained during this time by you 
maintaining genuine connections rather than chasing superficial networks will ensure long term satisfaction avoid potential delus delusionment you have to understand that during this time if you feel that you know someone else you are giving too much to them but they are not trying to give uh, so you know you should start distancing yourself from them on the other hand in the social in the network area where you know your goals or your bigger longer dreams are concerned there is where you have to be careful that your dreams can be little bit you know delayed during this time during the whole eclipse period nothing will be working on for you on the other hand if we talk about your placement of uh, you know the fourth house lord in the 11th house getting afflicted so if you are trying to deal in area related to uh, in area related to your um, um, real estate, property, property. real estate, mothers, mother's health, operations, surgeries of mother, any car, buying of any vehicle, everything should be avoided from 14th of March till 14th of April. And on the other hand, the second house is the house of speech. Your speech plot is getting is de is debilitated as well as will be conjunct with Rahu and cause can cause some kind of illusionative speech, which may trouble or end some of your relationships. You know, second house and this fifth house, your love relationships also can come into little bit of challenge and darkness during this time because of the um, sun and Rahu conjunct. So very careful, but overall, it's a very good time to actually really work on your goal area because after this darkness is going to be a lot of light when sun becomes exalted in the 11th house in the 12th house for you so it is going to be a positive period that time but right now make sure that you are completely you know aligned in these areas of the life all the best uh, those who are watching for the first time do subscribe those who have already subscribed thank you so much there is a link whatsapp link in the description for personal appointments click on it and you can talk to my team and we can discuss your chart in detail for Gemini Ascendant people, Roiji, the 10th house will be the most under influence during this time and it calls for caution in career moves and public image. During this time, number one thing, ego should be zero. If your ego is zero, everything will be good because sun is going into powerless position and avoid controversial actions that could, you know, tarnish your reputation because sun is also the third house lord and sitting with the lord of communication, uh, uh, debilitated Mercury and sitting with Rahu taking this kind of a leap where it becomes powerless, you know, so your communication will not be powerful. In fact, it will be misleading and can create some kind of ups and downs in the career area for you. Now, because this time is a uh, little bit challenged because it is 10th career. Yeah? Career is very important for everyone. This period may bring unexpected challenges or opportunities in your professional lives, demanding adaptability. There can be instances because last year, I remember when the Grahan happened uh, for, uh, I think, for cancer people, it was in the... Uh, uh, I think I don't remember, but I remember one chart seeing where the grand was happening in the 10th house. Such people were just, you know, transferred from one team to another. And they created a lot of fuss about it that I've been in this company, this, that and whatnot. And then they were asked to leave. So here, if any situation comes where, you know, you have to adapt in some other situation or in other team during this time, you should be accepting it towards it. Because see, your grand is happening in the 10th house. So you will have to adjust during this time. Beware of shortcuts to success. Integrity is the key here. No, don't go into the area of doing something out of, you know, by taking other people's advantage or, you know, just thinking that everyone else is fool and we are only smart because it will come out. So when there is darkness, even this small flare will be shown clearly that, okay, this person did something wrong. So beware of that kind of situation and establish clear boundaries between personal and professional life to prevent conflicts because this is the time. Why? Lagna Lord, you know, personally you may involve, get involved with someone on a personal level in the career option. And the fourth house, you know, again, your inner peace can be disturbed because your fourth house Lord is also, you know, what you say in uh, debilitation. So this is the time that you're, you have to be very clear and very, very, you know, sorted in simple way. Now, another thing is that embrace innovation, but remain grounded in ethical practices. You can, you can use smart work, not only hard work, but embrace your innovation, but remain grounded in ethical practices. Don't try to exactly, you know, whenever Rahu becomes very powerful, that's why we say Rahu jiske das mein dunia, uske bas mein, because Rahu is the planet that can even take any unethical approach and get his work done. 
So during this time, Rahu will be so powerful that it can do that. Now here, there can be very good thing that can happen is networking can unlock doors, but access the long-term implications of new association. Make sure that whoever you are associating with will, what kind of effect they have. You do your research very, very properly. In this time, remember that there is one very positive thing that is happening is Jupiter is in a very, very good state. And whenever Jupiter, the Kendra Lord is in a very good state in the 11th house for you, there will be very, very less struggle, trouble, uh, to you but you know in these areas if you're not cautious then there will be challenge that you may have to face during this time so my and Rohit ji's our job is just to let you know that this is the kind of in front of you everything in exactly in front of you this is the thing that is happening and this are the problems or the challenges that you can face during this time so if we know that this can happen you will be cautious, right? Before going, if you know you have to go into a, a jungle where there is a lot of bear, you know, all the bhalus are there. So you go with bear spray, simple. You don't go, you know, don't go empty handed. That is what is the video all about. There is an appointment link in the WhatsApp description. In the description, just go there. If you scroll down, you can click on it and you will be able to talk to us. Uh, all the best during this time last thing to understand remember and understand is do not take any decisions of joining new job or new office it may create trouble and problem for you only so you should just avoid any kind of new job offer accepting new job offer or joining new job during this time if it can be avoided it should be avoided if there is no option then you have to join then you have to join okay so all the best for Cancer Ascendant people, Rohit Ji, Sun is entering into the ninth house for them. Second house Lord, the Dhan Lord, Money Lord and Maraka going into the ninth house, getting afflicted. You know, Mercury also afflicted, 12th house Lord also afflicted. So number one thing happens is that any kind of long distance travel or any kind of pilgrimage or any kind of, you know, higher education, anything in these areas might be affected during this time. Now, during this time, you are very, very vulnerable to join, you know, dogmatic beliefs or, you know, fanatic groups with extreme ideologies and they can create a little bit, you know, brainwashing in your mind. So you have to be careful not to go into such areas or such, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, you go into such kind of uh, associations. In fact, uh, when we talk about your, uh, uh, during this time, travel plans can be the most uh, uh, affected. You know, there can be a lot of hurdles in travel plans because see your 12th house lord is also afflicted in the 9th house. So there can be unexpected hurdles or could lead to, you know, if there is travel, it could lead to transformative experiences. Transformation is not always good, sometimes bad also. You might face some kind of a problem in, in uh, travel during this time. Now here, if you know, uh, if there is any kind of uh, educational pursuits, you know, that means, you know, uh, that, you know, you are going for a higher study or a training or some things like that, it may encounter distractions also. Rahu has, you know, in simple words, for your chart, especially ruled by moon, Rahu is not a very good planet. You know, for Leo ascendant and for Cancer ascendant, Rahu is not a very good planet. Now, because of this, you know, it can create some unexpected hurdles in all aspects of your life but mostly focusing on these areas but in a positive sense when rahu is see rahu is evil uh, it can create a lot of trouble but in this uh, yug kalyug it all the material benefit all the material wealth you want has and can only be given by rahu and alone rahu no one else yeah. So in that way, your destiny wise, money wise, Rahu is not going to create any problem to you money wise during this time. Money will be very good that this is a time for expanding your worldview, but ensure that your explorations are rooted in reality and not escapism. Yeah. You should not escape from your responsibilities of higher education, training, you know, go into it. There will be struggle, but there will be light at the end of the tunnel. That is what will happen with all the cancerous inner people. So take caution because your third house lord communication loud is debilitated with Rahu, influence of Rahu. Twelfth house lord is debilitated. So no uh, major decisions related to travel because third house is short distance travel, twelfth house is long distance travel. So travel comes, you know, goes off the chart. Other thing that is uh, important is your second house lord. So no investments also. 
and at this time there can also be challenge that some kind of guru or some kind of person may try to influence you that you know let's invest here let's do this let's do that so you have to be careful in those areas of your life okay all the best uh, do lot of shiva upasana om namah shivaya om namah shivaya om namah shivaya that is very important for all the cancer resident people always in their life and whatsapp link is in the description for personal appointments go there look at the personal appointments uh, options and we can talk in detail about your chart for leo ascendant people rohit ji when sun is transiting into uh, pisces you know on 14th of march till 14th of april it will be here and it will be under lot of struggle with rahu because rohit ji so once it goes out of the mouth and exits then it is little bit less challenge but till the time it is going sun is you know thak 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 sun heart beat is going up and up that you know i am going towards rahu now 8000 the house that highlights caution in financial dealings especially related to inheritances joint finances or investments this is the very special house that is exactly opposite to the second house second house is the house of money in your bank account and 8000 is the money invested that is why this is the very important house emotional vulnerabilities during this time might surface requiring inner work to transform fear into strength here rahu is a planet when in the 8th house it can give you lot of fear i know someone very good friend of mine we i also have rahu in the 8th house he also has rahu in the 8th house there is fear of death always it's like you know even uh, he i was discussing with him same chart we have even if we have any throat pain or something we conclude to oh, there must be throat cancer now so that kind of you know rahu influences your mind in that way that it will give you extreme uh, what you say you know, extreme um, fear rahu in the 8th house also could lot of traumatic uh, experiences on your mind in your childhood you know sexually abuse some kind of sexual abusement some kind of you know uh, trouble related to some family member trying to take advantage of you someone cheating you for inheritances someone you know uh, trying to be very mean to you from your family that kind of things can happen when rahu is in the 8th house in general that is the thing but other, especially from the mothers uh, you know met, maternal from the maternal side like you like, want to say mama ji mama ji is an all yeah rohit ji in the true sense there can be lot of discomfort or lot of uh, you know dissatisfaction from that area they may always feel that you are useless people these kind of things happen so what is the reason we need to do we need to always emotional vulnerabilities does not matter you know everything is okay whatever other people are saying it's okay but you need to transform your fear into strength you need to be believe in yourself that is what is required for every leo ascendant this whole year by the way here <clears throat> intimate relationship may undergo you know testing what if you this is the time when many people because of this darkness your small chingari also your small spark also will be seen by the your partner so maybe there can be chances that you know uh, you may undergo honesty and transparency are crucial you may get caught if you are into extra marital affair or something like that explore the metaphysical with the spectism you know that this is avoid obsession with occult practices some people i have seen i have them in my list every day rohit ji they will message this is happening that is happening i think i have 50 or 60 people like this we have samantha i so don't even replies to them now this is happening that is happening oh this happened that happened today this happened moon was here this happened ketu was here that happened this is moving here that you know just don't just don't get into the area of law. so those who are going into lot of fanatism that okay astrology is everything we should always be in obsession with occult practices they should avoid that because karma is very big important uh, factor in your life and uh, yeah rohit ji you were trying to say something no i am saying that uh, you can the you know better judge and very best judge for this ascendant because this is your ascendant so you can tell very well about this Rohit, I was talking to someone also today in an appointment. He said that how Akash sir, so I am. He was doing three appointments in last three months. He said, "How much do you look at your chart?" I said, "I don't. <laughs> I don't look at my chart. I look at the major period." Okay, said so this is the period from this time and this time. This is going to happen, so I have to be in this areas. But every day we cannot control things, right? Anything a kal and a kal work together. Kal is time and a kal means bad time. They work together. Together. 
this is need to be think like uh, analyze like this if somebody is doctor then he you know don't check bp every 30 minutes and thermometer and check everything because i am doctor and i am keep examining my family every day and <laughs> this is only when required exactly. why to do every time so during this time avoid such kind of things this period actually demands a deep dive into self improvement this is the time to make sure that you self improve yourself but beware of psychological traps that might hinder progress instead of fostering growth one very important uh, so do not research is very important during this time rahu in the 8th house is a positive planet by the way rahu in the 8th house has negative aspects but positively it can give you intuition it can give you sudden gains it can give you lot of wealth it can give you you know suddenly such people who have rahu in the 8th house if their job goes away in within 10 days 15 days they will again get a job that kind of uh, rahu blesses them with these kind of powers being in the 8th house for them so overall uh, these are the areas where you need to be more careful of otherwise Uh, you know every year the eclipse happen every year it goes uh, some caution is required otherwise all good there is a whatsapp link in the description for personal appointments you can go there and visit for virgo ascendant people rohit ji here when we talk about sun in the 7th house the most important house in the world is the 7th house that is the house of partnerships you know they should exercise extra caution in partnerships due to the 7th house focus here rahu in the 7th house already hey, rahu is depending on your you know your placement of natal placement of rahu also there are a lot of factors but if rahu is natally placed here then it is a little bit struggle because misunderstandings or unrealistic expectations in business or personal relationship could arise there may be someone who will put you in such a spot that you cannot actually achieve it and then you will have to face the problem in that area because remember uh, someone Who is also going through the same conjunction in some other house, so they may also act in that way only. So that's why you know things happen, good and things bad things happen. Sometimes bad things happening, it keeps happening. Sometimes good things happen, it keeps happening because other people are going also going through the same pattern. Here communication is the key because Mercury is debilitated, but still it is here putting an exalted aspect on your ascendant. This means that here you will have power to actually. transform and communicate ensure clarity and honesty in all dealings because that is the key to success avoid entering agreements without the thorough vetting you know no agreement without any kind of uh, any kind of research and during this time i would suggest not to sign any agreement at all just say that okay you know let me think about it this is what you should do this transit can also trigger a reevaluation of your commitment levels and partnership dynamics this is the time the most common time for lot of understand misunderstanding in partnerships so you may even think that you know what should i do reevaluate that should i continue here or should i you know change my partner so some kind of bad news also many people will hear like you know divorces and stuff could be filed during this time good news for all the lawyers but bad news for all the people who will go through this strive for balance between independence and collaboration avoid dependency or dominate domineering behaviors don't be dominating and you know during this time uh, balance between your uh, you know kind of partnership that you want to do and kind of independence that you want don't get trapped into things because this is the time sun is getting trapped and sun is the 12th house lord and see losses in partnerships when the 12th house lord in normal chart is sitting 12th house lord in the 7th house it means loss in partnership loss in a foreign country loss of you know property also is possible because it is fourth from the fourth this also means that this is the house of spouse losses of spouse you know some spouse can even have little bit of bad fate during this time so very careful not to make any major decisions like marriage partnerships partnership deed to sign these are the things to be avoided at large there is a whatsapp link in the description for personal appointments go there look at it and comment otherwise all the best for libra ascendant people libra for libra the 6th house emphasizes wants against neglecting health and work routines if you have been neglecting well health and work routine this is the time that rahu will act up and flare this area and you know you can have some trouble in the in the in work routines or in health so what does this mean that discipline should be maintained unconventional health treatment should be approached with caution 
botox boob job buttock job tummy tuck all this unconventional health treatments lip job and you know, every i talk to people every day say that sir to, to, i have a booking of this tummy tuck i have a booking of my breasts implants this all should be avoided during this time you know for male people getting again botox or getting hair uh, transplant or you know your tummy you know the tying of your intestine for you know your uh, for your weight loss should all be avoided you have to seek professional advice and honestly 14th of march till 14th of april avoid it if you have booked anything reschedule workplace conflicts might emerge because this is the house of enemies rahu will make sure that you win because in 6th house rahu is the winner but again you know it can create the problem problem will come you will fight you will burn your energy then you will win what is the matter so it is better to avoid in the first place at all and maintain diplomacy but stand firm on your principles do not you know uh, rahu will not even let you bow down in front of any other person and say sorry because if you are right so if there is anything where you need to stand firm stand firm and fight you are you are in full power to do that now efficiency in daily task requires focus to avoid scattering energies here lot of you know disruption will come through enemies many people will try to put you off work put you just away from work put you into different kind of situation some kind of lawsuits some kind of struggle struggle will come don't don't bother about them you know but ensure that you know this period could inspire innovative work methods ensure that innovation is happening as well as you know don't compromise on your well being or pro- productivity just because you know you are vulnerable at the moment or you receive some kind of enemy threat or something don't be vulnerable make sure that you are completely into power because you are going to win whatever happens and during this time you know balancing service to others with self care is crucial don't be rude or you know those people who are in the cxos level those people who are there to you know uh, those people who have you know they have power to decide other person's fate don't be unethical or you know unempathetic during this time be show empathy show good behavior rahu in this 6th house is very very positive for you sun here is little bit challenged the 11th house lord in the 6th house create some health problems health problems will come so do not ignore anything as well immediately go for medical assistance okay all the best libra libra ascendant people there is a whatsapp link in the description for personal appointments you can click on it and then we can talk about your chart in detail for scorpio ascendant people roji fifth house very important i think that in the world the fifth house is the most important house and the fifth house lord is the most important lord here the fifth house lord is also sitting in the sixth house anyways but fifth house will have a eclipse as well as before that sun will be moving very close towards rahu already the fifth house has the 11th house lord as debilitated here the 8th house lord debilitated so you know during this time scorpio people will face caution in creative expression they will have to face on maintain caution here you cannot be over expressive because it can work against you during this time romance area relationship with children area or children area or anything that you are planning for progeny that means planning to conceive or you know planning to start a new family should be avoided during this month because in grahan no intercourse only should happen so that you know there are no kids because otherwise if you conceive or if the mother conceived during grahan there is a chance of little bit of challenge or defect or pitra dosh to the to the child that is being conceived so hold on to your horses this year or this just month emotional uh, emotional uh, emotional so how do i say Uh, you will be very volatile in the emotional area of your life and it can impact your ro- rom- romantic relationships as well as you know there will be lot of struggle to receive uh, exact clarity in the relationship area and that is not only in the love life that can be with your children also can be with your p- partners also can be with your office also can be in your workplace also the things that will require a lot of clarity you will be very confused during this time and creative projects may face unexpected twists 
you know, stay adaptable. If there is any change that is required by your client or, you know, someone says that these are the suggestions, do this, listen to them and try to be adaptable, like be adapt, adapt those, those things. And if they're for the good of the product, do it. Because this fifth house is the most important house for speculation, stock market, speculative investments, lotteries during this time, be very cautious with speculative investments and gambling. It can be complete loss also. I told earlier also that all the Bitcoin stuff and what is happening with the growth going, people are investing like a lot of money. So just if you can withdraw right now and just wait for a month and then again reinvest, that is okay. But it does. What if Bitcoin falls during this eclipse completely? Now it is, I think, 65, 70 US, 1000 US dollars. What it comes to 40 or 50% wealth is gone immediately. So try and take this advice as well and the transit encourages embracing your creative instincts while maintaining a sense of responsibility and reality in personal interaction and financial decisions five fifth house is the house of ma lakshmi ma lakshmi is the goddess of wealth so here wealth wise also you know anything that has to do with financial decisions or finances you have to be careful see career wise also the lord of the 10th house gets debilitated uh, gets uh, in uh, eclipse in the fifth house means, you know, creativity wise, your workplace will demand a lot, but you will not be able to deliver. So there can be job losses as well. So what do you need to do? Adaptability comes to here. If you don't know anything, ask, ask for help during this time. Rahu in the fifth house uh, may give you a lot of, you know, immediate speculative gain, which will make your mind more illusion that, you know, you need to invest more and then there will be trouble or struggle that you may face out of it so very careful okay very very careful during this time there is a whatsapp link in the description for personal appointments you can go there book and we can discuss your chart in detail and let you know that how your sun will affect you natally also present if you're going to sun mahadasha rahu mahadasha mercury mahadasha oh ho, extra ten thousand times extra careful okay all the best now sagittarius ascendant people when we talk about them the Kendra is going to get afflicted. And Kendra, the ninth house lord, that is the lord of your higher education, spirituality, is going to go under complete darkness next month. But what is it doing now? It is approaching Rahu with degrees. It will be taking up degrees and approaching Rahu. For Sagittarius, the fourth house influence necessities, caution in family matters and property investments. During this time, number one, thing that you should be very careful about is investment in property or vehicle this is not the right month from 14th of march till 14th of april to even take delivery of your vehicle or about of your house you know possession of your house or just to book a house or book a vehicle no it should not be done this is the time that it may create you know it may not create problem now but it may create problem for a longer period because anything taken in grand can you know if people don't even buy new clothes during the time sun and uh, rahu are together in the ancient area it says that okay sun is already starting to get afflicted that means you know the energy the sun rays that we receive now are not full power with power now with little bit of challenge here so careful uh, we need to do not get into new investments emotional foundations might be tested focus on building inner security this is the time that emotionally you may feel little challenged or inner inner there will be not happiness in your mind or heart during this time. And that is why you have to avoid impulsive decisions regarding home or real estate. Again, a very, very big, bold uh, statement I'm taking, making that make sure that avoid impulsive decisions. Don't make any decision at all. Family dynamic may undergo shifts, promote open dialogue and understanding. This is a time that there may be some conflict because of your inheritance, family, father-in-law. This is also the house of father-in-law, by the way. Here also there can be some kind of conflicts. So what we need to do? Not to make any kind of big, what you say, big judgment here. Also, and why is this house of father-in-law, Roji? Because it is 10th from the 7th house. And the 10th house is the house of mother-in-law because it is fourth from the 7th house. So this is how we see if 10th house is afflicted sometime for people, then mother-in-law will create a lot of trouble. If now here, father-in-law and you can get into a lot of rift also. And your mother health also can be compromised during this time. Now this period encourages nurturing your roots and emotional well-being. You need to be self, taking up self uh, you know what you say challenge to do it for yourself but be mindful 
you need to retreat too far you know not to retreat too far into your shell isolating from the external world this is a time you have to be out there speaking to other people if someone there is some conflict going on try to solve it during this time not to get into complete isolation if you see sun is aspecting the 10th house the 10th house lord in the 4th house is uh, now what we say debilitated and see um, uh, rahu is in the kendra to ketu is in the 10th house where it will receive an exalted aspect from mercury so in your workplace there can be some positivity also that you can see in your home only there will be stress workplace positivity is there but 9th house any higher education going to foreign country taking any kind of you know pilgrimages or any kind of thing related to your uh, you know gurus and getting into all this puja and stuff will not be very favorable for you eclipse is the time to do siddhi by the way any kind of preet siddhi or you know karna pisachini siddhi and stuff like that and uh, i think for leo ascendant it will make more sense because their rahu is in the 8th house but for you also it is in the 4th house 4th house is also a hidden house by the way yeah, so we have to be uh, you have to see that you know how and what you should do it's a very emotional house 4th house that's why it is the house of emotional foundation the the karaka whatever sign it will be the karaka is moon here moon has moon has given energy to this house so moon is always emotional so emotionally you will be weak don't act emotionally act practically is the final statement for you guys there is a link for appointments in the in the bottom in the description and those who are watching the video for the first time do subscribe okay moving on we go to capricorn ascendant people now when we talk about capricorn ascendant people here the third house will become afflicted now third house is the house of your personal interest in fact it is the house of your courage and the more or ever it is the house of your communication as well as short travels all the communication all the short short travels that wherever you see you know short travels and communications and you know your neighbors your siblings and stuff like that you always look at the third house and this is the time that your communication and short travels may be a little bit afflicted as well trouble miscommunication could leads to conflict strive for clarity in all exchanges you know you may miss understand something or you may say something and someone else can misunderstand you in this time be spectacle of too good to be true information or deals you know now you say okay uh, invest 200 dollars and i will give you 5000 very very careful man because these are the areas which affect the most affect the most that means here third house is the house of also convincing that you know you can they, you can be convinced for illicit acts uh this is also the time to expand your skills and knowledge but ensure sources are reliable because you know why this is the because this is exactly opposite to the 9th house if you see 9th house receive an aspect of uh, you know mercury then exalted aspect and mercury will make sure that you can enhance your skill and knowledge because 9th house is also the house of higher knowledge but other than that sun being here you know sun being in affliction the 8th house lord being affliction research is more important because your research abilities or everything will be in darkness and this can the time that you may involve or get indulged into some kind of unexpected un unre not required situations balancing curiosity with critical thinking will enhance learning experiences and foster meaningful connections during this time also during this time don't take any favors from your neighbors from your siblings and you know just maintain distance this is the time to be introvert be into yourself you know do your research move forward or honestly till 14th of from 14th of march till 14th of april don't make any major decision this is the bottom line this is what will help you to mitigate this effect this is the time you should be just quiet okay health wise you have to be careful because the sixth house lord is also debilitated in third house you can create come struggle in the health area also so all the best one more thing last thing which i want to say is that because jo mercury is debilitated ninth house lord is debilitated so someone can even cheat you saying that okay we will get you visa for higher studies and stuff like that so that that is the area that you have to be careful for all the best there is a whatsapping in the description for personal appointments and do subscribe
Now for Aquarius ascendant people, sun is going into the second house, Ruichi. Second house is the house of your speech, you know, house of your financial matters, house of your self-worth, that what the hell you are, what kind of personality you have, and also house of investments. In other cases, Ruichi, it is a very important house. It is also called the Maraka. Maraka means a killer house. It can kill you. The lord of this house is responsible for your death. Here in this chart, sun as well as Jupiter is the responsible planets for your death. This is how it works. And sun is more, more uh, you know, potent here because it is the seventh house lord. Seventh house is an extreme maraka. Eighth house is the house of longevity, Roiji. And twelfth from the eighth is the house of death. House of, your, house of death of longevity. That's why seventh house is the more killer house. Now here the seventh house lord has gone into a maraka place and there it is getting afflicted. So what does this mean? That it can kill a lot of things related to your financial you know, matters. It can kill a lot of things related to your self-respect. It can kill a lot of things related to your you know, speech area where you speak something and you may destroy yourself in some or the other way. So during this time, mon vrat, that means being quiet is the most important thing resist the temp temptation to spurge or unconventional items or investments you know okay i want a new iphone 15 16 whatever it is going on i don't know unnecessary do not buy it because this is also the house of fixed assets everything related to fixed assets if you're buying a property in a second in a different country it should be avoided if the if you're buying anything related to uh, you know your partners partnerships or partnership business, you are going, you're trying to buy assets, fix assets during this time, avoid it. No, from 14th of March till 14th of April, it should not be done. During this time, evaluate your value system. This may transit, may challenge you with priority, materialistic and spirit, uh, spirituality. It will may tell you to prioritize either materialistic approach or spirit, spirituality approach. Because see, uh, here, if we see about, uh, uh, yeah, what uh, Mercury. Mercury is debilitated, which is the, you know, also the owner of the fifth house, which is a very spiritual house. So during this time, you have to be, you know, completely focused on where you should, you know, prioritize your life, materially or spiritually. I think material, uh, material wise, because Rahu is sitting in the second house, material wise, it will obviously be very, very fine. So spiritually, you should give more priority during this time. Communicate openly about finances and relationships. Because seventh house lord is in the second house, and to prevent misunderstanding, if you cannot afford, you cannot afford. Tell your wife or husband that this is not what we should do, because sometimes talking with clarity will bring you more peaceful, you know, life. My wife told me, Rohit ji, let's go to Mexico for a holiday. I told her I don't have money. Five, six, seven thousand dollars. I am stupid to spend so much money. I said we are going to India, so that is better. So. In the beginning, only one day she did not talk to me. Second day, she said, okay, no problem. So, you know, you have to make sometimes some hard decisions that change and no, it cannot happen. Cultivating a sense of self-worth beyond material possessions will provide deeper satisfaction and stability during this time. Speech-wise, you have to be very careful. Whatever will come out of your mouth will not go away. Make sure that you are very careful. Second house is also the house of losses from the third house. You know, what is the third house? I have a very important case to discuss here, Roichi. I have a girl from some country. She has a placement of, Ra uh, of Ketu and Sun in the second house for her. Okay. Aspected by Jupiter from the eighth house. Now, Sun and Ketu are forming a grand, like an eclipse there. So what happened is that she, someone called her, you know, friends. We became friends and stuff like that. And someone called her and to her house. And, uh, you know, they made a secret film, some kind of film, uh, like, you know, while they were, you know, in their intimate relationship or thing. And now that person is blackmailing her that, you know, I have made a film of you. I will release it, this and that. Give me money. Give me this. Give me that. So this house is the... 12th to the third house of communication and social media, Rohit ji. So this is where, you know, losses from social media can be seen or, you know, losses or any such kind of communication device, which can create loss of wealth to you is also possible. So that is why always remember, do not during this time. And it is also a, uh, aspecting the eighth house. Only Jupiter is there, Rohit ji, in the eighth house for her also. Not for this chart, but for her, she's she will be saved. I told her to do some remedy that her completely you know, her enemy will be destroyed. 
because this is wrong when you invoke such kind of uh, you know you create some kind of enmity for your you know purpose and you put other person's life on uh, you know thread then bagla mukhi mata the mata of uh, you know enemies she will destroy the other person like from 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 roots she will take him out and throw him away that is what i told so she is doing lot of bagla mukhi sadhana and she is feeling relief also anyways so here you have to be very careful that you know something spoken can be recorded by someone and can be shared with someone there can be some kind of uh you know uh, suddenly someone says that i heard what you said about me these kind of things may come to you so be careful do not trust anyone during this time and in family also do not trust any family members do not do any back bitching or you know any gossip monger don't be any gossip do any gossip about your family it can be used against you okay be careful be happy all the best for pisces ascendant people rohit ji now here the lagna the ascendant you yourself your mind your brain your attitude everything is going to get afflicted you know in fact pisces ascendant are cautioned to maintain self identity amidst the influence of their first house this conjunction can lead to a period of self discovery but beware of losing yourself in illusions or unrealistic aspirations because your lord of the fourth house lord of the seventh house is also debilitated it is putting an exalted aspect on partnerships very good but just just see the sixth house lord is in the first house and in affliction health wise you may have to have little bit of challenges enemies will be able to make sure that they can put you into illusion and get something out of you so it is not a very very positive time to you know uh, lose your mind or how do i say to to believe in, on someone else like from 14th of march till 14th of april you should not believe on other people's or on speculative investments or anything related to uh, in your workplace also don't do any kind of gossip any kind of belief system in other person you may have some losses and you your mind will be into complete illusion during this time if by chance for pisces ascendant people you even feel a tummy problem in your stomach like some little bit ache run to the doctor because your 6th house lord whenever gets afflicted in the lagna especially in this chart look at jupiter jupiter is given sun the 6th house and now in lagna in in kendra it comes and you know it becomes afflicted so your health will can also become afflicted during this time embrace your unique path while staying connected to practical realities okay this is the time see rahu in the first house makes you a hero rahu is a hero whenever it comes into the ascendant it makes you yourself into into a line into brings you into spotlight and makes you a hero but what it will try to do it will now have no connection to your heroism it will just be only focusing on let sun come to me i am going to do this to sun that to sun this what this not and that sun rules your poor sixth house confidence may fluctuate ground yourself in activities that reinforce your sense of self and purpose this is the time for powerful personal transformation but it requires navigating the fine line between dream and reality you know so someone who's trying to sell you some dreams you be real realistic and think about it don't come into under influence of other people who are trying to sell some dreams to you when we go to dubai when we go to any tourist spot they will sell dreams that okay sir you have to just pay 1% and you have to then just own your property and then you have to just always rental income is this and that so what happened that is all illusion you pay that 1% then you are put your hand on your head say every month i have to now pay this much money so remember that don't you know it is this during this time it is important to believe in what your head says rather than just believing blindly on other person in the world all the best guys uh, this is the also the time that real estate should be avoided any communication related to partnership should be avoided partnership will bring you profit during the process but, uh, but other things in area of partnership should be avoided like developing new partnership should be avoided during this time all the best and thank you for watching and we will see you in some next video till then rohit ji you can take over yes sir very important period of one month lots of things will happen in this 30 days so extreme cautious during these 30 days this is one of the busiest month of the year regarding these transitions and all these things for the eclipse thing we will make a separate video but this is a video to you know
make cautious to all family members of ST Astro. Thank you very much for subscribing. So much love, so much love in comments and uh, so much blessings. Thank you for that. Keep subscribing. Keep sharing these videos to other people. Uh, you know, family friends of yours and relatives will also get these cautious things in these 30 days. And those who want to take consultation, WhatsApp number on the screen or you could do, go to the description. There is a link. Click directly. You will reach on the WhatsApp and team will contact you after you will message your details and you will have a video consultation with Akashji. Thank you one, very much once again. Akashji, thanks to you also for such a detailed video uh, and logic full things and this caution things we all will take care and you also thank you we'll meet you in next video till then jai shri ram jai